Hi and welcome to part two of Hedgehog Hollow's studio tour. This wall is all built in cupboards which I was very fortunate to inherit from the previous owners. Below each of the shelves that I'm going to show you are some cupboards and in there is just some general storage. This one has some metalwork items, some silhouette um, accessories, things like that. There's no particular storage solutions I can show you in them uh, but they're just there for general storage. Behind me, you can see the area that you always see in the background of my videos right at the beginning when I'm talking to you and showing you the um, project. So you might get a sneak peek of some things that are here to come uh, here at Hedgehog Hollow. I keep some tins up here so I can put some things higher up. Uh, there's some little hedgehogs and things that people have bought me so they get, stay here and they often sort of accessorize pictures and things as well. At the top uh, is an old laptop, some uni work and my silhouette mats. So let's move on to the middle section. I can show you my old stamp storage that may be useful depending on your crafty space. So this is the middle section of the cupboards. You can sometimes see this behind me. Uh, the TV and cable box kind of stay in the middle here. And this is uh, an old stamps storage solution that I keep in the bottom. And I still have lots of uh, sets in this method. So they are all empty CD cases and they mainly house my Magnolia stamps. Each one has a number on the end and there's a binder where I printed out each collection as they were released and I number up the stamps so I can find them nice and easily. These totes are great. They fit CD cases perfectly and I can fit round about 50 or I think 50 or so in one of these and I have lots of them and they've lasted a long time. So depending on your space, it may well be the best solution for you. Now I also have here my punch cart, which is all of my Stampin' Up punches. So if I come down here so you can see uh, all three shelves here. So the top shelf is all my current punches. Each of them stand up and you can see the sticker on the end as to exactly what each punch is. There's a punch record that I keep here as well so that when I stamp something out, I can offer it up over the image and I can see whether this punch is going to fit. And then I keep some of my smaller circles and things at the back here. There's also an old color coach, which is really handy at the back. This middle shelf, keeps all my retired Stampin' Up punches. Normally they're all stood up like this, but we've had some Tilly assistance, so some of them are laying down. And in the bottom, I keep all the old whale style punches that I still have a few of. It still easily moves around. This is the target um, cart. I have some of the Ikea Rascogs as well, but I'm really happy with the target ones. And I think they're a little bit more sturdy. So I'll link up both depending on what you have locally. And now we can move over to my right side panel, which has shelves full of markers and papers and some other crafty items. So this is the final section I have to show you. Now you've seen this before in some of my Facebook Lives and nothing's really particularly changed. Uh, but if you don't follow us already, you can see here I keep my Stampin' Up markers. This is the set that come with the many marvelous markers. And I've just put some pretty duct tape around it to keep it together. And I just stuck the color chart on the side. There's some um, fun little pictures of Maddie when she was little and some little signs because I really believe a craft room should be personal, particularly as I spend so much uh, time down here, it's really nice to have those things around. Yeah. This is my Copic storage and I've used this for all sorts of markers and normally my Copics would be in some kind of order but since they've been unboxed they kind of all just got put in here and we haven't got them back into their right colour families. But these are Spectrum Noir trays that I will link up for you. Um, they're brilliant. I've had them for so many years. You can stack them either on the slant like this or you can have them straight. You can fit Copics in them, Spectrum Noirs, all sorts of your markers. Prisma markers fit in them. Um, lots of different storage options here. I also keep my speaker or spiker pens in here uh, as well so they get put in there and they've been really stood up fairly well. If you want to be able to move them I'd recommend putting some more duct tape around them just to hold them together. Uh, but these have moved with me three times, once across the Atlantic, and they've still lasted and don't have any damage. So in this side, I have my Distress Tin Marker. I have my Zig Pens, which currently are still in their box because I haven't learned how to use them yet. Uh, now that the launch is over, I've got the time. And currently, they're still in this box. I may well get some more of these trays to store them in, but I shall let you know what I end up doing. Uh, there's also some Tombow Markers, as I want to do a video for you on it. In the back is the um, hanging piece that you got my Copic card on it that you saw in our Copic video. I also have this um, 
for all my older embossing folders i used to keep track of what they all were it would need some updating if i wanted to still use it but it is a great idea just to know what you have on hand at uh, the front here is a stamping up color family uh, chart that my old upline made for me in england and at the top here is my paper storage now this solution has been um, really quite uh, crafty changing life changing in my crafty life however you want to put it what i do is i keep all my paper um, collections in 12 by 12 uh, folders these are the stamping up ones but you could use any i put a sticker on the top as to what it is so this one is window sheet and it was a stamping up item so it has the stamping up number with all my stamping up papers i also used to put the coordinating colors that were included uh, off the back page of when you buy your dsp so for instance this is the cool treat suite and when i start using it it'll go into a 12 by 12 folder and i will write all of these colors down on this label so that i can find it now this hasn't really been updated since i stopped being a demonstrator but in the bottom i still have a 12 by 12 paper stack this is all my stamping up 12 by 12 just ordinary cardstock then i used to have it sorted by um, annual catalogue and occasions catalogue speciality papers were up here like the vellum and the glitter papers things like that and then here i have my non-stamping up uh, papers that i've recently bought and at the top i kept some of the uh, bags and things that stamping up sold so i may rearrange it slightly but it's definitely a solution that i'll keep stacked up here is my canson watercolor paper there's some bristol papers um, there's all sorts of different fun papers there's a copic uh, tutorial book here there's my bag punch uh, there's some mixed media papers and on this side i keep my stamping up kits that are still here there's my mod podge my nova solution alcohols all the things that i really want to have on hand because my desk is right here so it's something i can access really easily and when i want to color in i can just grab the appropriate markers or papers and at the top here i keep a tote from art bin which i will link up for you which is great it has dividers in and i keep all the cards i've made in there once i've made them i put an envelope with them that i may well stamp at the same time and then they go in a plastic envelope in there ready to send out to you all lots and lots of 12 by 12 page protectors up there and a few other projects some more q-tips those kinds of things and in the bottom i keep all my labeling supplies so there's pre-cut cardstock there's my p-touch labeler which i linked up in the previous post um, and probably some general other things that really do need some kind of organizing so that is it for today thank you ever so much for joining part two of our craft room tour if you missed part one it's there on the hedgehog hollow youtube channel and it's also linked up on the blog at hedgehoghollow.co.uk now tomorrow we'll have part three which is the final part of our studio tour series for now it's got my desk in it which has my two uh, kind of main storage drawers underneath and then two double stacked alexes also from ikea i'm going to show you those one is full of ink and used to hold my uh, wood mounted stamps or slow solutions for those and the other one contains things like uh, extra adhesives flowers glitters stickles all kinds of fun things so we'll be going through those tomorrow so be sure to join us for that and you can also find them all on youtube.com slash hedgehog hollow thanks for joining us and we'll see you again soon bye